Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Days Gone on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to let you all know, um, I'm not sure what the hell I've done, but I've managed to somehow hurt my wrist. Now, I don't know what the hell I've done. This sort of appeared out of nowhere, but pretty much any time I move my thumb in certain ways, I haven't really managed to work out which way I move my thumb that causes the pain just yet, but every time I seem to move my thumb, I get this proper, like, sharp pain up my arm. So, at the moment, playing video games is a bit uh, a bit Russian roulette, you know, because sometimes I'll be playing perfectly, you know, and then sometimes I'll move my thumb on the analog stick or I'll tap the cross button, and then I get this proper big pain in my arm. So, not sure what's going on, so just a word of warning. There might be... Uh, the odd time in this playthrough where um, I do something really stupid, you know, just because my hands randomly started hurting. So yeah, just thought I'd let you all know. So if I do do anything dumb, it may not be my fault. Most of the time it is, but sometimes it might not be. It might be whatever's wrong with my wrist. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. It just, it just randomly appeared, you know. I was at work like two, three days ago. I'm not sure how long ago when you're watching this video, but like two or three days ago, it just started hurting for no reason at work. So I don't know. I don't know. Something's going wrong. But yeah. What we're currently doing in Days Gone, in the last video we spoke to Tucker and she wanted us to deal with some son of a bitch that beat a woman. It was pretty much just a random bounty mission. So we've already gone to this location, we've already defeated the guy and we've stolen his uh, crowbar and we're now going to take it back to Tucker as proof that we've killed him. So we did that. So once we've uh, returned the crowbar to Tucker, which I think is here, not too far from me actually. Where am I? Where am I at? Nah, pretty much just a quick... Uh, a quick little drive around the man in and then we're back in the camp. So we're going to give the tire iron or the uh, the crowbar, whatever it is, to Tucker, get our reward. And then what we're going to be doing is we are going to be heading over to this infested area over here. Because um, when we was up at, at this location here, this former Nero camp, we saw, whilst we were like looking at our uh, wife's memorial stone, we saw another Nero chopper that headed off in this direction. So yeah, we're going to head over to here and see what's going on. As you can see, chase down a Nero Black Chopper. So that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we've got to do at the moment. So let's uh, let's go back to Tucker, get our reward, and then let's go and see what's up with that Nero Chopper and what they're doing. Because I think we was at the Memorial Stone and we had that really long cutscene that played. And then uh, once the cutscene ended, a Black Chopper flew over and I think uh, Deacon might have contacted Boozer and told him that he's going to go after it. But instead of going after the helicopter, I decided to uh, do a completely different mission instead. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I suppose Deacon probably hates me because I, I, I guess the main thing on his mind right now is going to be, oh, there's Nero choppers everywhere. There's lots of Nero agents that are perfectly healthy. And there's also a dude called O'Brien working with the uh, Nero agents that could probably be the same O'Brien that we gave our wife to in the cutscene at the beginning of the game. So he's probably more concerned about following the chopper and trying to find his O'Brien git, you know, so that he can see if his wife is actually dead or if she survived and that. But unfortunately, Deacon, I'm controlling you and I'm making you do everything but that at the moment. <laughs> well, it's just so easy to get sidetracked, you know. And obviously in these types of games, you know, where you've got to, you know, monitor your uh, loot and stuff, make sure you've got enough items and that so you can craft things that you need. In this kind of game, it's definitely the kind of game where you do need to go and explore and do other things just so you can earn some extra money so you can finally get that nicer quality weapon, you know. And then obviously you've got the uh, fact that you need to go exploring for things like kerosene and that so you can actually build molotovs you know so this is the kind of game where you have to get sidetracked and go off and explore sometimes but yeah i'll try my best to stay on track with the main main story because like i said there are several different stories in this game but you have got the main story which is involving finding out what happened to your wife you know and stuff with boozer but yeah i'll try and keep on track as much as possible right let's take let's talk to tucker get our reward and then uh, maybe we'll go and speak to that guy over there and maybe we'll get some more uh, guns or something. I've only got 1.4k at the moment so I'm not completely rich but he'll do. You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. 
Lovely. <laughs> nice and bloody. But yeah, um, apparently you have to listen to the radio because sometimes the main characters in this game will contact you and let you know that they've got a bounty available and then if you head to their camp you can talk to them and you can get like a random little side mission. Now you should do them because obviously you make some money but also you will gain rep with the camp and the higher your rep the better stuff you can buy. So it's definitely worth doing them. Even if you're not bothered about getting the Platinum Trophy or you're just bothered about the main story, it still is worth doing it just so you can unlock better weapons and better bike upgrades and things like that, you know? Lovely. Right, how much did she give me? Oh, fucking hell, she gave me like... I think she gave me like 1,200. Damn. Damn, Tucker is a generous girl. Oh, look, we've got another skill point. Lovely. Right, let's check what I've not purchased yet because I know there's a couple of things that I've been using in my main playthrough because I've actually played the... Uh, by the time you've watched this, I've probably nearly finished it, but uh, I've actually been playing the game quite a bit and I've started to learn some new stuff and what my favourite perks are and things like that, you know. All right, we're going to get this one. Ability to repair melee weapons with scrap because this is very useful and you don't really use scrap very often, you know. You mostly use it to repair your motorbike, but it's nice to have another use for it, you know, because I always, I always have 10 scrap and I can't do anything with it. So being able to repair like a spiky um, baseball bat would be very useful, you know. There's other uses for scrap as well. I'm just, I can't remember them at the moment. But yeah, let's quickly have a look if he's got anything. I probably need to buy bullets, maybe. I'm not too sure, though. Actually, let's have a look. Oh, no, we need to get a bit of uh, rifle ammo, but that's about it. We've already got suppressors, didn't we? I think we've already got suppressors. Yeah, I'm not going to bother buying any, because I think we've already got them. Oh, there we go. You've got a special suppressor here for your special weapon. Stuff like your... Uh, Sniper rifle on that. Increased bullet capacity. Nice. So is this, is this like an upgrade you can put on your weapon? That's pretty damn good, actually. Pretty damn nice, that is. Right. I think I'm going to save all my money. I don't really think I need to buy any of these. I think I'm all good at the moment. I mean, there is a nice quality. I mean, that's a nice quality shotgun right there. So it would be nice to get that once we rank up, you know. It is nice to have a shotgun just because when the uh, freakers get very close to you, you can either try and do some pistol shots or rifle shots, which is quite slow or you can swing it on with a melee weapon if you've got a decent melee weapon but it's it, it, the best weapon to have with you in that situation is a shotgun did i already hand in all of the freaker uh the freaker ears i'm not sure if i did let's quickly talk to this bounty person see if i handed in the freaker ears if not i'll quickly hand them in i think i already did it in the other camp though didn't i oh no we've got 42 oh hell yeah Lovely. Also got a new ear. Brilliant. Lovely. I suppose it... Pro oh. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, dear. Right. Let's uh, let's have a bandage quickly. See if, uh, see if can I... Can I build? Why don't you let me get my menu up? Hang on a minute. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you could use your menu when you was on the bike. Yeah, we've got five out of five bandages. Right, so what we're going to be doing now, we are going to be heading over here and we're going to be following that black helicopter. Because uh, as we know, we saw some Nero agents and uh, they were they were investigating a nest. A nest that was very, very full of freakers. And then during their investigation, they mentioned O'Brien. So that's when Deacon discovered, oh, O'Brien might be alive. If O'Brien is alive, my wife might be alive. And then since then, he's been, uh, you know, trying to find out some more information about O'Brien so we can go and find O'Brien and then possibly find our wife. Oh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I mean, but I suppose... Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. I suppose we... Hey, stop aiming. Stop it. If you press L1, he'll aim at people and then... Uh, Infestation zone later. And then uh, if you press L1, it, it aims at them, and then if you wait long enough, you'll aim in and focus a lot, and then you can shoot them in the face. So it's pretty nice. Oh, God, that would have been terrible. <laughs> All these bloody roadblocks everywhere are a right pain in the ass. What was I actually trying to do? Oh, that's why I can't use my menu. If you press L1 on the bike, it just aims at people instead of bringing your menu up. All right, that makes sense. I think you can do it before you unlock that power. Son of a bitch! All oh, right. 
I'm a bit distracted at the moment. I do apologize if my commentary is a bit naff. I'm just a bit distracted at the moment. I'm not going to get into details, but I'm, yeah, I'm just a bit distracted. So uh, apologies if I'm uh, rambling at the moment or not making much sense or anything. I do apologize. Got to be careful in these bloody tunnels. I think I've said this before, but I was driving down one of these. Oh, actually, always make sure you open up the ambulance because you'll get a medical kit. But uh, yeah, I was driving through one of these tunnels when I was playing it on my own. I was blasting down the tunnel, you know, going probably like 50 miles per hour. I was dodging the cars perfectly. And then I don't know if it was like a black car or something. I just sort of, I didn't notice this black car and I bumped into it and I instantly died. And then when I checked after the game loaded, there was actually like a, a barrel there or something where it was like, I think it might have been a petrol canister. And I got blown up and I died instantly. It was, uh, wasn't the best. I might have been that actually. Yeah, it might be one of them. Actually, I'm going to fill up my uh, motorbike. Always fill up your motorbike as soon as you see fuel. Even if you're on like 90%, you know, and you don't really need fuel. Just do it anyway, you know, because it, it, it's a right pain in the butt later on in the game. It's not too bad at the moment, but as you get further into the game, the enemies become more annoying and stuff like that. And you have to take different routes to dodge like big hordes of freakers and that. Things become a little bit more challenging in terms of fuel, you know. I just, I love crashing into it, but I feel like I break my bike a little bit every time I do it. <laughs> oh dear, you do have to be careful though. I think I was reading the comments. I mean, I've probably already responded to this comment by now. I think it might have been Wolfmoon, but I think he was watching some of my other videos and he was saying how comes uh, he thought there was large groups of freakers in this game. And there are large groups of freakers in this game. It's just in this area I'm in right now, it's still sort of like the beginning area, you know? As you progress through the game and you travel to other areas, you will see massive groups of freakers sometimes you've got like freaker hordes you know which are like pretty much a boss fight pretty much and uh, there'll be hundreds you know and then sometimes you'll find like mini horde groups where there'll be like maybe 70 or something and they'll just be randomly walking around the field and then if you're not paying attention they catch you with your uh, trousers down you are fucked it is not good okay i think we're here now so uh, it might be a cutscene that Boozer, oh god, Boozer keeps getting angry because Deacon keeps going up to that memorial stone and every time he, oh, oh, every time he goes up to the memorial stone of his wife, he comes back a little bit, you know, a little bit pissy and angry and crazy and that and stuff like that. So he keeps telling him not to go up there, but he keeps going up there anyway, which I can't, I can't, hey, I shot it, come on, I fucking hell, what are you doing, Wolf? Pack it in. That's a bad wolf. Jesus, I'm not sure if I could actually, I think you can actually get too far away from the chopper, so uh, I better hurry up. Has he broke my motorbike? Oh God, he's getting very far away, the helicopter. You gotta stay very close to it or you start getting warnings telling you you're too far away from the helicopter. Here we go. Lovely. Back on track now. Back on track. Stupid wolf. I mean, of all the things to attack me, it had to be a wolf didn't it, you know? <laughs> of all the bloody things. Whoa, oh, okay, yeah, we're alright. Looks like they're stopping. Just, uh, 
Warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Dig it out. to you Wolf of War Fets. I've got to be honest with you. I am so glad I'm not down there right now. But yeah, do you see in that cutscene a minute ago after Deacon got shot at when he was picking up his motorbike and really struggling? I mean, it makes sense because especially the kind of motorbike he's got, it is quite heavy, you know. But um, when you when you drop your motorbike when you're just playing the game normally, you walk up to it, press square, Deacon picks it up like it's made of tissue paper. But then in that cutscene, he struggles to pick it up. I like to have consistency in my video games, Sony Bend. You can't throw in something like that in a cutscene, but then during normal gameplay, Deacon's just like one finger and picks it up like it's a bit of paper. <laughs> God, I need some consistency. Okay, right, I've got um I've got a silencer on my weapon. There is only one, two, three, four, five freakers to deal with, so we shouldn't have much of a problem. I've also got a hatchet that's nearly destroyed. It costs six scrap. To fix it. So uh, I won't be fixing that because I'm not going to spend bloody that much of my scrap on a rubbish weapon. But yeah, we should be alright. Right, I'm going to make sure I focus so I actually get some headshots. Okay. Okay, that didn't go very well, did it? I mean, I said headshot, but it turned into a triple shot. Oh, crap. Okay, lovely. I did a better headshot when I've been spotted. I suppose when you get spotted, you know, you start panicking and then all of your skills just become like 10 times better, you know? Normally you'd think, oh, because I was caught off guard, I'd play worse. But that's not how I work. As soon as I'm caught off guard, I seem to get superhuman powers, you know? But like if I was to do a boxing match where it's a scheduled boxing match, you know, I reckon I would probably do average at best, you know? But if I was like, someone snuck up on me in the street, and then I was like a random fight I weren't expecting. I suddenly become Neo and I just block like an absolute legend. It's like, boof, 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 boof. You know, like proper legendary. <laughs> I just seem to do better when I'm caught off guard. I don't know why. It seems like it should be the complete opposite, shouldn't it? But you know, whatever. Never mind. Except in Tomb Raider. I was a headshot king in Tomb Raider. Okay, better, uh, better uh, have a bandage as that stupid ass wolf attacked me. Actually, I think he might have just used a medical kit. Yeah, he did. Okay. Oh, well. That's not too bad. I needed a hundred health anyway. Oh, what's that? Oh, there we go. A couple of flowers to pick up. What's that? Right, before we click on that, I'm just going to open up these boxes because I think there might be bullets in these. Lovely. It's, it's so satisfying to find bullets in this game, isn't it? Obviously, you can go and buy bullets, but just finding bullets and then being free, it's just like absolutely delicious. Right. Let's have a look at this then, see what this is. Oh, oh, it's a radio. I thought it was a tracker. Because what were they doing? Uh, what were they doing with that zombie? They said they tranked it and they were waiting for it to take effect, but then all of these other freakers ruined their day. I'm not sure what they were up to. I thought this was like some sort of tracker that fell off the freaker. <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn it, get back here with that. Is that a new? Shit, that's mine. Oh, is that the same one that they were just messing around with? Yeah, it's the same one they were just messing around with, isn't it? Oh, okay, that worked. 
We were on about finally. We were talking, we were on about Deacon. That literally took us like 10 sec, less than 10 seconds, I reckon. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Oh dear, is that the same one they were like messing around with that they had all tied up? Because he's got a backpack on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And um, these, these newts, I actually looked on the uh, description. These newts are adolescents. So these newts are actually children that have been infected. So that's a little bit sad, you know, but obviously if someone wants to kill me, I have to deal with them, obviously. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here, shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What, what do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No, no, no I, I, I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer, he's alive. O'Brien, one of them, Nero. I'm gonna track him down if I can. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. <sighs> You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien, where the hell are you? I mean, d did you have to call him a bastard? I mean, uh, O'Brien actually took your wife and offered to help her. I mean, he was a bit pissy at the beginning because uh, there was, uh, I don't know why, he didn't want to take her because he thought she was infected, didn't he? Or there was too much weight for the helicopter, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't think he actually did anything bad. I mean, he might be a scumbag, but I don't think he did anything bad. I don't think there's any reason for you to be so angry at him, Deacon. If he is alive, though, hopefully he can tell us about Sarah. Because even though we're assuming she's dead, we don't actually know, you know. And not having that closure, not actually knowing 100% that she's dead, you know. Especially if they got to the crash site where we go where the memorial stone is. If you go there and you don't find a body, you've never got closure, have you? Because, oh, did she turn into a freaker? You know, or did somebody take her body away and bury her somewhere else? Is she still alive? Is she alive somewhere, but she's like lost an arm? You don't know. And that, that annoying feeling in your head is insane, you know? I mean, obviously, I don't know how Deacon feels. I haven't had somebody that close to me die. Hey. Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the old Belknap Road, and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. Great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that, that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. Um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, just throw your... 
I just... Leg over, yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where I Road am. 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, I'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I just... Just give me a second. There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> You weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so, the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Out here, That's big what bad thought. biker, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes, hit him again. Now you like that bike, boy? Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Him. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't learn, do you, you bike boy? Oh yes, yes. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> well, teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Shit. Oh, yeah, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Roll, goddammit! Roll! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. 
I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, I, I saw right. that and I. Oh. oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. See, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw. It's okay. It's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no. You know what we're gonna no do? Bars, we're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, that cutscene went on for a while. I actually forgot that cutscene was there. <laughs> oh dear. I gotta tell you though, Wolf Wolf X, I don't know if I've already said this or not, the Deacon looks way better with a beard, doesn't he? Like every time it goes back to these old time cutscenes where he hasn't got a beard, he just don't look right to me, you know? He just suits a beard. Some men just suit a beard, you know? Other men like me, like I don't really think I'd suit a beard. Maybe a bit of stubble. I've got a bit of stubble anyway, and I've got my sideburn, but I don't think I would suit a beard, you know. But then you've got men out there that just look, look weird without a beard, you know. But yeah, uh, we're going to have to end it now anyway, and we will pick this up next time. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf of Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!